What's up everyone? Uh, I'm excited about this video uh, and I've been meaning to make this for a while because uh, for a few weeks I've been uh, using these awesome new picks from Bog Street. Um, you might remember about a year and a half ago or so, um, Bog Street uh, was a brand new company and I reviewed their Leap picks which they had just released. Uh, I don't know if this will focus but uh, I have used this for a ton of videos and recording and you can see it's getting all beaten up and everything. <laughs> But um, uh, yeah, I love these picks and they're so innovative in how they feel in your hand. Um, but there are maybe a couple things that weren't my absolute favorite just based on my style. Uh, and I'm really happy because uh, these new designs pretty much address every issue I had with the original pick. So yeah, these are my favorite pick now. So these new picks are called the Axe series of guitar picks. Uh, and there's three versions of them. There's the Battle Axe, those are the purple ones. There's the Axe Blade, the red ones, and the Axe Cut, the orange ones. All three of these designs are very similar. The Battle Axe has the same thickness on every side. The Axe Blade is the, is the same thing, except one side is a little thinner. So you can switch to that side for more rhythm playing or if you have an acoustic guitar or something. And then the Axe Cut is the exact same. Two thick, one thin, uh, but the pick is just a bit bigger overall. Uh, so that might feel better in your hands. Um, I'm used to using uh, really thick picks, sort of like a Jazz 3 style pick, so um, the Battle Axe is uh, definitely my favorite so far. It's the same thickness on all three sides. It's perfectly symmetrical, so no matter how you pick up the pick, it's, you know, you're holding it the right way. They cleaned up the ergonomic contour of the pick a little bit, so uh, it's basically just a slight contour now that fits really nicely on either side, whether it's on your thumb or your pointer finger or however you hold the pick. Um, and then there's a cutout in the middle, so it's totally symmetrical, which is awesome because there's a little more flexibility in how you hold the pick, which is great, like if you want to choke up on the pick for pinch harmonics um, and or adjust it to do like a pick scrape. Um, speaking of which, uh, the edge is now uh, more like a normal shape of a pick, so there's that slight bump like on the leap pick, so when I go to do my uh, pick scrapes, works great, it's perfect. There's no uh, like hitting the frets or anything. So anyway, there's not really too much to say about it. It's a pick, it feels awesome in your hands, and this uh, specific design is amazing for playing lead stuff or pretty much anything that requires a lot of fast picking. So. What I want to do is just uh, show a couple of the riffs and uh, the solo that I wrote for my recent cover of While My Guitar Gently Weeps. My setup today is uh, my seven string uh, Music Man Ernie Ball John Petrucci signature guitar um, and I'm going right into my Axe FX2 for all my sounds. So first thing is this uh, fast like gallop like Iron Maiden style riff that I wrote um, for my cover and uh, with this kind of a riff uh, it doesn't let up at all, so there's no time whatsoever to try to adjust the pick. Um, but now, like with this pick, there's like a slight texture, and of course there's that contour and the cutout in the center. The pick doesn't move at all, so um, really fast gallop riffs like this are super easy. And there are those uh, pinch harmonics because it's so easy to choke up on um, this pick compared to the old design. <laughs> So next I just want to show um, a little bit of the guitar solo I wrote for While My Guitar Gently Weeps. It's actually like, it's jumping all over the place in terms of technique. So I'm always making these slight adjustments um, where I'm holding the pick because sometimes I kind of get it out of the way and I'm doing like a two-handed tapping thing. Sometimes I'm holding it slightly differently because um, I'm doing like a sweet picking thing. Um, so I'm constantly readjusting and uh, it's, it's nice to have that just little extra contour. Um, for extra control over those like fine motions I'm doing. So here's that opening lick. Uh, first I'll play it a little slow and then more up to speed after that. <laughs> And 
And like I said, uh, it drops down at that point. I switch to my bridge pickup, does some blues licks. And a lot of legato stuff. Uh, and then it gets to this uh, part, which is maybe, maybe my favorite section of the solo. Um, it's doing like a combination of sweet picking and two-handed tapping. Uh, and then immediately after that goes into like a tremolo picking part. So uh, really different. And I like one, I'm, the first part, I'm kind of getting the pick out of the way for that tapping. And then the second part, obviously um, using the pick entirely. It's kind of hard to do the tremolo picking uh, slow actually because it's not really in time to anything, it's just picking as fast as you can. Anyway, I think that's about it. Um, there's not much more to say. It's a really awesome pick. It's super versatile. Uh, and check the link in the description if you want to uh, pick up a pack of these and take your playing to the next level. Thanks so much for watching my videos. Um, subscribe if you want to see more and uh, check out my recent videos where I, I've been using this pick pretty much all the time. I'll see you in the next video really soon.